are you prepared for old age? Um, one of the realities of uh, the year 2024 is that all of us will be a year older. The wish they are younger, stronger, firmer, more robust, but the reality of old age is very different from this. Old age is a phase of life that sneaks upon us and it's not always as glamorous as the golden years we may have uh, envisioned. Recently, I saw some pictures of some icons when they were young, stars like uh, Bonnie M, Tina Turner, Muhammad Ali, Joe Fraser, Harry Belafonte, uh, Michael Jackson, Jesse Jackson, uh, Sonia Ade himself, Obafemi Aolowo, Fela Nikula Pokuti, uh, Manu Debango, Miriam Makeba, Hugh Masakela, mention them. You see, I saw their pictures in their early years and also their later years. I marvel at this thing we call age. Some of them did well for themselves. They were well prepared for their old age. And the element of financial emotional suffering was not there for them. I wonder if you and I are prepared for this old age. This lecture serves as a poignant reminder for you and I to prepare us for the inevitability of aging. Old age is an inevitable phase of life that will eventually arrive whether or not we are prepared for it. As time passes, our bodies undergo natural changes and are confronted with aging. The question that often lingers is, are you prepared for it? Preparation for old age involves considering the physical aspect and addressing the emotional, the financial, the social dimensions. It is a multifaceted journey that requires planning and foresight. Physically, maintaining a healthy lifestyle throughout one's life can contribute significantly to aging gracefully. Regular exercise, a balanced diet and proper health care can help mitigate the impact of age-related ailments. Engaging in activities that promote mental well-being, such as puzzles, social interactions and lifelong learning, can also be very beneficial. Emotionally, accepting the natural progression of life and finding ways to stay mentally resilient are very crucial. Cultivating strong relationship with family and friends, participating in social activities, and seeking emotional support when needed can enhance emotional well-being during later stages of life. Financial preparedness is another vital aspect of aging. Saving for retirement, investing wisely, and making informed decisions about healthcare coverages are essential steps in securing a stable financial foundation for your old age. Socially, maintaining a network of friends and remaining active in the community can combat feelings of isolation that sometimes accompany aging. Volunteering or engaging in hobbies can contribute to a fulfilling and purposeful life during the golden ages. In contemplating old age, it is essential to approach the topic with a productive and a proactive mindset. While the prospect of aging may seem distant in our younger days, taking step early can significantly impact the quality of life in our, in our later years. It involves making choices that align with the life we envision and considering how we can adapt to the changes that comes with aging. You are 50 years old this year. Have you built your own house? What investment have you done to take care of you in your old age? What will put food on your table in your old age? What will put food on your table when you are 60 and above? When the bones are weaker and you can't jump around like before? You are 60 this year. You are 65 this year. Are you happy with yourself? Are you hungry? Are you still running around to put food on the table? 
there are still so many people, even in age 65, 68, if they don't leave their homes in the morning, they cannot eat that day. Huh. Old age is a very funny period. My brother, my sister, be very careful. Oh, I remember. You are expecting your children to be sending money to you every month, right? <laughs> ah, these children, children of this generation, many of whom have no pity or sympathy, many of whom are still struggling on their own, these children you are waiting for to feed you in your old age, may you not suffer in your old age, my friend. There are three types of children. The male child, the female child, and the kind child. The Yoruba will say, Omo Kuni, Omo Beni, and Omo Laanu. Don't ever ask God to give you a male child or a female child. Ask him to give you Omo Laanu, Omo Ti Ogbe Sorry, I can't translate these in English now. Ask someone near you to do it for you. Oh, oh, I see. You women are thinking of staying with your children in your old age, right? You will be doing Omugo. Yoruba call it Olojojo Omo. Lagos today, Enugu tomorrow, Canada today, Turkey tomorrow, day dear. I say day dear. That is how some mothers get insulted by their daughters-in-law. They don't want to remain with their husband and spend old age with them because of some issues of the past. Issues that happened during the reign of Mongo Park. Very shortly, your children's spouses will begin to complain. When is your mommy going? Some mothers have become nuisances in the homes of some children on account of this. Mothers, listen to me and listen good. Nowhere is as good as your home. Pack your loads out of your children's homes and return to your husbands if they are alive. When the going was good, you enjoy with them. When it is bad, go and manage him. If your children invite you abroad to assist them with Omugo or what you back call the Olojo Jomo, go there with the permission of your husband and return home as planned. Stop pushing old men to get married to other women in their old ages. I have seen some great women who say if their children will invite them abroad, the children should send tickets for them and their husbands. They state that they couldn't leave their husbands no matter what. Some who live in Nigeria would say rather than go to anybody's house, the children should bring their children to their own home. They cannot leave their husbands in their old ages. A woman told me that if she goes to her son's house, she can only spend a maximum of two nights there before his wife starts asking, when is mama leaving? These are mothers with sense of shame, not this mama bon vita. This jobless mama who spread their legs in the homes of their children, saying that they are taking care of children. All because they want to punish their husbands because of what has happened during the period of Mongo Park. The only time it is sensible for anyone to remain in the house of children is for medical reasons and care. Mothers who are hibernating in children's homes, leaving their husbands to steer Amala in their old ages in the kitchen, go back home and manage your home. If you are a young wife, organize your home well. Learn the secret of husband's management. Call your husband to pay attention to the realities of old age so that there will not be any reason for you to abandon them in their old ages. I am going to live with my children. That's what they say. No, you are shameless. Leave your children to live with their wives. Leave your children to live with their husbands. Go back home and manage your home. Fathers and mothers, if you can reflect on the errors you made in the past, please don't keep quiet. Make your experience available and valuable to the younger generation. This old age thing is not just about men. It is also about you women, you mothers. Stop disgracing yourself in the homes of your children, thinking you are doing omugo or lojo jomo to avoid your husbands or pay them back because of what happened those days. I am not saying you should not go and help your children when they put to bed. But please, remember, you have your own home. So, are you prepared for your old age? If you are 50 years old, 
55, 60, old age is here. Stop deceiving yourself. If you are not prepared, it is not too late to start by addressing it now. May God give you the wisdom and the understanding to navigate this inevitable phase of life with resilience and grace. If you need any help concerning this topic, or if you need someone to talk to, I am available. My number is there. I love you. Get set for your old age. May the Lord bless you. Bye.